Hi, this is Dr. Anna Baranowski and today's CareLine 1 tutorial is how to use the whiteboard. This video is brought to you by the Traumatology Institute. At this point, you've already logged into your host account. The whiteboard is an easy to use tool for engaging your meeting attendees using colorful drawings, text, and annotations over images. When preparing for a presentation, some people feel that it's easier to create a series of whiteboards rather than creating a PowerPoint. Using the whiteboard, you can easily control the thought process and visually support what you're saying. You can import your own graphics and design, pre-design template graphics as well as type text and even annotate. This is particularly useful when we're trying to demonstrate a CBT approach or something that will help your clients. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to use the whiteboard. If you're logged in as a host, you'll automatically have the ability to use the whiteboard. Guests, however, will need to be given whiteboard rights by the meeting room host, that's you, in order to make changes and to control the feature. Using the guest rights control, the host can grant or rescind the whiteboard rights for any guest by simply clicking the guest rights button. Click on that person's name and then select whiteboard from the menu. To disable the guest's ability to draw on the whiteboard, follow the same steps but this time uncheck whiteboard from the menu. To give all guests the ability to control the whiteboard, click the guest rights button. Select all guests to place a check next to the whiteboard then click OK. Just notice that if there's more than one guest in the room, anyone with whiteboard rights can delete, move, or change objects on the canvas at any time during a live meeting. To access the whiteboard, click Meeting Tools and select Whiteboard from the menu. In this tutorial, I'll sometimes use the term canvas. The canvas is the area of the whiteboard where you draw, place objects, or pictures. Now let's review how to use the buttons on the toolbar. This is the selector tool. It allows you to select an object such as a line or other graphics you've drawn, then move, change its properties, or delete it. Here's an example of selecting an object, increasing the size, and then moving it. You can also bring an object to the front or send it to the back using these two controls. This is a pointer tool. It allows you to draw attention to an object or area of the canvas. Wherever you click, the pointer will be pinned to that location and displayed to others in the meeting room. This is a pen tool. It allows you to freehand draw on the canvas. Here's an example of freehand drawing and then changing color. The pen tool menu allows also includes line, rectangle, oval, and triangle tools. This is the text tool. It allows you to type text onto the canvas. To place text on the canvas, click once on the text tool. Click once on the canvas where you want to the, the text to be displayed. Now type the desired text. Set the color, font style, and other attributes, and then press enter on your keyboard. To change the properties of a text object, click the selector tool, then click once on the desired text you want to change, and then make changes to that text by selecting the desired settings from the toolbar. This is a load image tool. It allows you to add images to the canvas. To add an image, click the load image button, locate the J JPEG image file on your computer, then click open. This is a grid tool. It allows you to add a grid style graphic to the canvas. To add a grid, click the grid tool button, then using your left mouse button, click, hold, and draw the grid to the desired size. Now release the mouse tool. To change the color of the grid, click the selector tool, click on the grid object, then select the desired color. This is an eraser tool. It allows you to delete an object from the canvas. 
To delete an object, click the selector tool. Click once on the objects you want to delete, then click the eraser button. And this is the predefined graphics tool. It allows you to draw any of 10 different predefined shapes onto the canvas. This is the delete all tool. It allows you to delete multiple objects from the canvas at the same time. To use this tool, click the delete all button and then using your left mouse button, click hold and draw an imaginary square or rectangle over the objects you wish to delete from the canvas, then release the mouse button. This is the fill color tool. It allows you to control the color of objects. This is a stroke color tool. It allows you to control the outline color of an object. This is the thickness, the thickness tool. It allows you to control the outline thickness of an object. This is the background color tool. It allows you to control the background color of the whiteboard canvas. The two arrow buttons at the top of the whiteboard allow you to undo or redo any change you've made to the whiteboard. To save a whiteboard, click the Save Whiteboard button, type a file name, and then click Save. To load a whiteboard file you've saved, click the Load Whiteboard button, select the file, then click Open. Watch as I open some previously saved whiteboards. To navigate through a series of whiteboards, click each whiteboard tab located at the top of the canvas. To close the whiteboard tabs, click the X button on, the, on each tab. To zoom in and zoom out, the buttons are always available to everyone, even to those who've not been given whiteboard rights. These buttons are especially useful if someone's placed content outside the visible viewing area of the canvas. During a meeting, the host or whoever's controlling the whiteboard should instruct attendees that they can use these buttons as needed depending on their screen resolution and browser settings in order to see all of the content being presented like this. At Caroline One, we're committed to seeing you be successful in using your secure online meeting room to communicate, motivate, influence, and per effectively work with your clients. To learn how to use any other feature, click the help link at the top of the meeting room. And thank you for watching this tutorial. Make it a great day.